Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves 2 as Germany episode number 73. 73 is, as far as I know, the most amount of videos I have ever recorded for any series ever. Period. But I think that uh, out of all the series I've ever done, this is the one of the most deserving of it anyway because we've had like really phenomenal role playing, a lot of comment involvement, um, a lot of like uh, continuing viewership. I want to say that in a more elegant way. I, like essentially, the people were interested in this series to actually keep it going. I mean, so everyone who's still watching, I, look at. I've always thought it feels dirty to use view count as a measure of success. I mean, it's kind of an obvious one, right? But I've always wanted to do games that I wanted to do, especially the games that I don't feel get enough attention. And, okay, <laughs> Rule the Waves qualifies for that <laughs> already because there's, I mean, now a few, uh, uh, there's been a few more people doing Rule the Waves content, but uh, it's my bread and butter. It's the... I just pick up these other, like, there's another game right now, Deity Empires. Uh, das Tactic has been playing it a little bit on his channel, but otherwise, nobody really knows of it. So that's another game I'm currently learning and hope to bring to the channel as well. It's like these kind of, yeah, I like those little, I like to discover these things and help other people discover them. Now, that's not, <laughs> has nothing to do with Rule of Waves 2, so let's get to the task at hand, which is somehow trying to fight this war. Um, I feel like even the game is telling us at this point that we should not continue this series much longer with all the bugs we had. At the end of the last episode, I did have to fight those bugs for about two minutes. I didn't do anything special. I just held down enter, tried to wiggle around with save. Um, I could not save. I just quit the game. Um, I mean, I just kept trying to exit the scenario. I would hold enter and then there'd be a brief moment before the arrow would pop up and I click. Finally, I got, I clicked exit. And allowed me to exit and it gave victory points proportionate to the event so i guess that it, it did count it so hopefully we did well we had a minor victory i think um i don't think we sink any destroyers or they sink any of ours so there's no strategic effects that need to be recorded anyway okay so that that's done let's move on and i don't our money situation is getting very tight, but what the heck are we supposed to do? I don't see a good option. Look at these foyer directors are actually more expensive than the Sturmbringers. Which is the reason why I was con contemplating scrapping them before I even scrapped the Hohenzollerns. Oh, damn it, anyhow, I forgot to do aircraft. I keep forgetting. Um, we should press for hard terms, but I feel like, well, we haven't invaded anything, or, well, I guess we're actually currently invading something. But actually, I really do feel like this ser series has really gone its distance. Okay, that's fine. Circular AA screen enables circular screens, so we have screens now moving, like, literally in, like, diamond or whatever formation around. Allows BBs to screen CV. Okay, so we're getting there. Lay light increases ASW effect of air bases. And uh, foyer trackers to torpedoed. I wonder if there's a way I can disable this event. It's realistic, but... And actually, the strategic one doesn't bother me nearly as much as the... Uh, I don't know why. Actually, they both bother me. And they don't bother me too much. I just... I'm getting my... Yeah, I'm just not thinking reasonably. It's fine. It's a very, it's obviously realistic. And nobody wants to lose, like, carriers or battleships to submarines, but ask the British how they felt about that. <laughs> so, we're being a little bit less effective here. Um, as was pointed out, we're using mostly coastal submarines. They're half the cost. Probably not half the effectiveness, which is why I'm using them. But we're just not having the same results at this point. Or actually, it's the Raiders which made a difference. And uh, cruiser action, please. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, good. Dogger Bank, not a good place for us to be. Um. I think we'll just suppress the airfields. It's kind of like random what we're gonna do. Oh wow, this is 
Yeah, this is a big one. Ah, <sighs> kind of hope it's our last big fight of the... Oh god, we have two carrier divisions? Oh yeah. I see the Era and the Nordrhein Westphalen. Those are all cruisers. They look like um, Valkyries. Huh. Oh, interesting. We actually have three carriers. I was not, I didn't check, but this one only has one carrier in it. Okay. That's interesting. 360, no. Okay, first things first, let's go to maximum. And go to you, go to maximum. Okay, so that, uh, maybe it looks like it applied to both of them. Um, yeah, something like this. Maybe a little bit more left. Yeah, I don't think we need to search much. I'm gonna go a little further left. Eh, I'm not. I'm just gonna do this. I'm pretty sure this is what we should do. So instead of 290, let's go 285. Whoops, 285, 28, delete, five. Thank you. Right, let's go. 37 <laughs> and we'll go 120 okay that's good at the same time as you would expect we're gonna ready up our dive bombers and torpedo bombers we're gonna ready these guys with a heavy load just because they have such long range we're not worried about it we want, hopefully that heavy cap does service well. I feel like we're just going to raid, hit, get out. Move back to friendly territory as quickly as possible. So we should at least ready one group of fighters. I'll ready two. And we'll ready this strike. We'll go to our other carriers. Kind of getting into a groove with this at least. And the same thing here, heavy, ready strike, exit. So we won't launch all those at the same time, but we'll get them all ready. Oh wow, we have control immediately. All right, so what do we have here? We have the foyer drackers. Well, it may be the last ride of the foyer drackers. What better way for them to go out than in battle? And I think that this might be, it might be their moment. <laughs> Dang it, I keep forgetting to change the name of one of those Oxhoffs. Hopefully we don't have two in this battle. Okay, let's get these guys up to 20. These guys are gonna be doing their thing, but as soon as they, yeah, as soon as you come back, let's get you up to 22. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're not moving in the correct direction. So we're going to have them move east at the moment they can. And the foyer drackers, well, I guess we have radar, which is going to help us. But for now, let's just kind of cruise up to 20 knots. When these guys have deployed, we'll get them also to move east at 22. We could just move. Yeah, I don't really know where to move. I guess we need to stay west because we have to stay west of the carriers. What in tarnation? 
Okay, yeah. Go back that way. Good. And it's kind of nice having all of them on... Uh... Okay, so we're waiting for the spotting reports now. It's kind of nice having all of them on... Um, what's it called? Um, AI control. <laughs> so we don't really have to do much right now. I'm going to leave their reports up, actually, because that's... up. Oh, there we go. One light cruiser. Okay, well, let's go up and investigate. And let's keep the somebody with us, for crying out loud. Yeah, they're going to move right on over to England. Okay, three carriers. So let's launch. In fact, we'll kind of... I think the best thing for us to do is actually to launch as a coordinated attack. We'll see what we can get up nine. So this is only nine spots, I'm afraid, my good sir. Probably that's my problem. I haven't been... Okay, this works. Let's coordinate this strike. And you know what, let's just target this. Let's see if it makes any difference. I've heard various things. I don't know why I didn't do both at the same time. So this is gonna be too many. We need to take off eight. Take off 11. And we'll also coordinate this strike. We'll launch. And I didn't do this group, or it did. Uh, off nine. I thought I already launched these guys. Guess not. And let's also move over to our other carrier group and get them to launch as well. Okay, we're not going to grab that one. It's not ready anyway. Coordinated attack. Yeah. We'll launch. And then we're just going to gun it with the Fourier Dracas. Get them into a position. Strike. Hopefully knock this guy, these uh, carriers out. Their course is east. Okay, let's race in and knock this thing out ASAP first. Do not give them any whatever quarter. Yeah, buddy, you pick a bad, bad time to tangle. These are not cruisers. Yeah, it's definitely not a cruiser. They're landing the first hits. <laughs> Eloy's, well, they're landing all the hits. All right, all right, all right. I didn't want to have to control you stupid, stupid crap ships, but I can do it if you want to be really, really stupid. I can, I can control you, I guess. You're just going to be really go in front of the big guns like that. Yeah, I can control you. I don't want to, but I will. We're landing some good hits. I think what we do in this case is probably not... I mean, I, t I said no quarter, but I really mean it this time. This is the year again. Yeah, give me these destroyers. Give me you guys, line, of breath, line ahead. And give me you. Now, I guess the Jurgen is going to stay on AI control because I do want somebody left for uh, anti-aircraft defense. But we're just basically going to try to go in immediately and... Yeah, just torpedo the crap out of whatever's left. We have a nice, nice cap set up, though. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, pushing them away. There's our naval strike. We are pushing them out of the naval strike. Hopefully, please let them go. Oh, no. Our guys are bombing them. Damn it. That was not very long for a coordinated strike. Okay, let's get them in here. 
And we'll send Oxhoft and their group onto the north. Since. Might as well, basically. <laughs> send these guys north. You north. We'll see what we can wrangle up over there. Enemy aircraft are approaching. Well, that's fine. I'm very confident in our success. I have no idea what our carrier is doing. Oh, good. They actually are kind of staying out of the fight. Woohoo! It's wonderful. Yes, this definitely should be a fight we can win. Make this lot bigger. Maybe not that big. Oh, nice. So we shoot down one dive bomber who damaged three. The heavy anti-aircraft, a factor of a nine, damaged two other aircraft. We also are hitting some of the ships, which is good. So what do we, I have not even looked at these. Should be the same. Okay, the repulse is leaving us. Yeah, so the all, <laughs> the all forward guns, it's not really not helping the British right now. <laughs> Really, really not helping them, geez. Yeah, we're annihilating their cap as well. I, what? Oh, we were evading. Well, let's let's not let's not ruin a good thing. Gonna get these guys down to twenty nine. Get that other group down to thirty. Pursue, pursue, pursue. Um, I wanted to not ruin a good thing. What I want to do is cut back behind them. Okay, you guys don't use rear guns? Well, we do, and we don't need them right now, but we will use our forward guns. And look at our... I wasn't even really paying attention, but apparently our destroyers have caught all the way up. And it's probably time to issue the orders sink them as quickly as possible fine by me get some torpedoes on target let's launch the other line I mean the sorry the, the other line the line <laughs> destroy destroyed okay well Perfect time for us to get on out of here. That line is a goner. So what do we have? Aha! We got him. 31 knots. We'll take it to the limit then. Unfortunately, the wind does favor them. Both on AI control. One hit. Okay, so one destroyer torpedo is doing good work. Our cruisers are definitely catching up with this courageous. I think that we just we have the acceleration run on her. All right, Lion class may already be sinking. Wow, she's not, but she has two to destroy. <laughs> Other turret disabled. She's, let's just say, not should not be our primary target. Let's start focusing on this inflexible. In fact, I'll probably have to give orders directly. Target this inflexible. In fact, we'll set the first two to target the inflexible. Yep, she's coming too. There we go. Good more hits she's down two of her three turrets as well has one still functioning but that one's not firing and the most dangerous one the center the, actually the most dangerous two the super firing ones are not firing actually that's a little bit weird so maybe I'll have you go in and just destroy the lion class at ASAP we haven't been paying attention to our our carrier groups yeah, look at this. We have nine. Oh, they're, oh my god, they're ready.
Well, I don't know how to do this in a way which gets them actually to fight this. They're probably going to stop early. So people were already suggesting that I um, I use this instead. Unfortunately, we've already seen. Let me pick the latest contact report. So this right, is that heading west. Yeah. Let's try this. Let's see if it works. I don't really need to coordinate this strike at this point. It's just get and get off and go. So that's carrier group 16 about 19. Yeah, we still have one ready here as well. Same target. Get up and go. Launch strike. And we'll see what happens. Um, because I don't think they're going to engage, actually. You're already turning. I mean, I think they're going to continue to engage the wrong targets. Line is not officially sunk yet, but she's definitely in a bad way. You move in on the inflexible. I mean, deploy your smoke. So it's a really nice last hurrah for the foyer draggers. They're still doing amazing. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of hits on the inflexible even. Who? Foxhound. Okay. And these Foxhounds have, what, 5-inch guns? 6-inch guns. Wow. So 6-inch guns are becoming very popular in the British Navy now. No, not my torpedo tubes. No! Uh, this is going to be difficult to launch, considering... Oh my god, they, did they still launch? How is this possible? <laughs> Somebody, please tell me, how is it possible for my destroyer to launch with my uh, battleship fleet right behind this lion, yet I get friendly ships in the line of fire? Like, they just need to remove this entire mechanic. It's so garbage. Frederick. This is just, I mean, this is obviously... the perfect example about how broken this system is. <laughs> I was even going to say, I'm not going to manually launch because even I think there might be a chance I'll hit my own ship. And this guy just goes off and does it anyway. Well, look buddy, hold fire until I give you the command just because I'm a little nervous about you. Yep. Some torpedoes are coming in. Got another hit. These are good hits. Change that formation a bit. Tell them not to launch torpedoes because... <gasps> yes! Oh, yes! Hooray! We're starting to land hits. The repulse is still really a dangerous threat. I would like for her not to get away, but I mean, I guess we got to pick our battles here. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure we were gonna get her. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get her. That's the last of our torpedoes. So you can actually go back to support AI control. Um, let's have you support the Graf von Eisen, or I guess even act as a screen, because there might be too many already. Okay, good. That's a good number of hits. Um, AI control. By the way, I don't think it's a good idea to put torpedoes on both sides. You're not going to allow her to some essentially capsize. But I think it's still fine in our case, because the game doesn't model that. Oh, poor Schnell Yunga here. Just getting picked on. Well, look, at least get your torpedoes off first. I haven't even paid attention to this. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> torpedoes. 
I mean, the carrier battle up here. Well, it's going kind of just the way we were hoping. Exchanging fire. Interesting. They do have, yeah, a full-on heavy cruiser. This is cool. This is where heavy cruisers actually mean, uh, actually are interesting. They're basically like a cheap battle cruiser to keep your carriers protected. I do like them in that sense. Okay, let's check again on our carriers. That's nothing to really pay attention to. Also really nothing to pay attention to. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And uh, you know, these carriers are not so far away that our battleships can't eventually converge with them. And you lost your other, whoops. You lost your other set of torpedoes, I forgot, so you can't even fire another set. So I'll just turn away. Yeah, Inflexible is getting, I mean, she's probably dead. Officially dead. Lion, officially dead. Not gonna make a difference. They're gonna be swamped with extra fire. But let's start directing our fire towards, I mean, even the Cordelia, which is not who I would want to target, but look, you gotta target somebody that means something, right? Yeah, we'll just target her with the Graffon Eisen. Even this is a weird torpedo launch that we should not probably have been able to do. You guys are free to launch. Oh, B-25. Okay, so let's just pull her off the line. Send her home. And things are about to get a lot less visible. But that's okay. Oh my god. It's, see, it's so weird how that happens. I guess there is a friendly ship in the line of fire. It's a legitimate concern, but surprised, I guess. I am still very surprised that that's the report you're giving me. Let's get you guys up to full max. Okay, hooray! The dead and flexible blows up. Just as our torpedoes were trying to find her, find a home in her. Um, your torpedoes are useless as well, so we're just going to send you back home to port. At cruise speed, I don't think... So we'll get you sent there at 12. I don't think it's going to matter. Okay. Um, one last ship. So we really, 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 sadly want somebody to go back. Do you have any torpedoes? No. So you, same story with you. Just make for this naval base. Uh, we really want somebody to go back and sink that other one just because, oh my gosh, she's gonna, yeah, we're gonna go back with our destroyers. I guess you guys are already heading this way, so. You know, I think we'll put you guys back on AI control. Just because we don't um, we don't need that many destroyers to to take off. What's your deal? No flooding, just engine hit. Down to speed of 20. Yeah, well that's fair. We will get this group then. Which still has a good max speed to try to run down the carriers. Who are still under fire, which is great. What is your deal? Oh, you're going to pick up survivors. That's right. Are we still launching? Wow, they've been going in that direction for a long time. <laughs> These guys are actually turning south. This is strange. We might... Could it happen? Do they not know what's possibly gonna happen if they go that way? Okay, you can slow down. Something like 26, you just need to torpedo the crap out of this thing and then be on your way. 
Oh, yes. Yep, there's the contacts. Yep. Yep. And now they suddenly are like, oh, that's not good at all. Oh, yeah. Launch your torpedoes, please. We will just torpedo the crap out of her. Don't know, is that in range for your torpedoes? It is. Very nice. Three of them. Um, let's send you back on AI. Perfect. AI control. So I think we have already eliminated this first carrier. And torpedo bombers are coming in. Another three. So hopefully that ends her pretty quickly then. Honestly, I think we have to, if you're not gonna go squad max now, when? So squad max we go. Just, it's like herding uh, sheep. We're just corralling them towards our big guns. What is going on here? Okay, good. So you might need to be taken off AI control because you might do silly things. Similar to the silly things these ships are doing. Okay, let's end this. Let's end this. here oh my gosh they it's an actual carrier i thought for sure this was a destroyer six inch guns i mean this thing's well it's i was gonna say it's no slouch but compared to our battleships it's, it's absolutely doomed and it's i'm sure already done for in this battle so we're just gonna slowly mow them all down i guess yeah for magazine just blew up. And we took down the lion. So if we... <laughs> the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Uh, so if the, at this point, if we have any anything we want to launch at all, we should launch because everything is going to hit what we want it to hit. Although I don't, it's not even a concern, really. Everything we want to hit is already getting hit. Need to keep these guys moving west so they can keep corralling. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, it's brutal. It's brutal, but it's perfect. And... What do we have? Well, I'm not sure what we want to do with this. I think we'll go ahead and choose... I want to choose these numbers this time because I'm not sure if it messes up the number of stuff you're going to launch. Okay, and then... Same thing here. Probably should do this for you, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, we don't want coordinated strike at this point. We'll ready this. I don't think we'll send it a coordinated strike. And last, we have to get a, the era. She has... Um, we won't leave the... We'll leave this torpedo bomber out. So 13 and 11. Get these guys to ready up. And we'll see. We may hold off on them. We may... We may not. One downside, of course, is that we have weak torpedo defense. Always something to consider. But I don't think that she's had a very good angle. And this little cutaway right there is going to be... Okay. Jurgen. Do not want to let that one escape. So this is the biggest one for us. This is the one we really want to have finished off with the big guns, is this Phoenix. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy to be eliminating these ribbles. We've seen them for a long time. Plenty, plenty that, are, that is scary about them, but, okay, there it is, there's a carrier hit. Yes, yeah, so this is what's gonna happen, I think. We're gonna pursue anyway. And now radar is gonna be very, very important. And we're just gonna go right on in. All right, here we go. Jungen has, Jurgen has uh, corralled that last carrier. Let's go in with our destroyers first, if possible. Should be possible here. Jurgen's gonna get that one. The Ryan's just gonna make her way slowly that way. We need to keep these penned in. Okay, here it comes. Here comes the torpedo launches. We're just gonna do it because, oh, we can't, okay. I'm gonna say, we're gonna hit something, right? We have no torpedoes. Well, well then, that's not what I wanted to see. I mean, this is all just a funny action then, <laughs> to give us time. Okay. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> okay, the Ryan is going to get a target after all, turns out. <laughs> she's going to run into a carrier, which I'm sure she's happy about. Oh boy. Um, are you going to survive? Yes! Yes, you are. A miracle. All right, G42 took another hit. Get out of there. Okay, and this, that's the carrier getting blasted. Oh my God, what do we have here? Torpedo tubes hit. So let's pull away a little bit with this one. You are right in the middle of it. Pull you north. I think everyone else is okay. We're just gonna watch out for this one. Oh god, we're in the middle of the ship. Uh, ouch. I mean, whatever this is, it's not something that wants to be taking 16 inch shells. So mission accomplished there. Good, just stay at zero. <laughs> really just tend to yourself, fix yourself up. We'll handle the rest. Can deal with the rest later. This is gonna be a little bit awkward, but I guess fire. <laughs> Mostly awkward because these torpedoes are going at my own battleships. Oh my god. Wow, that's actually a tough angle for this ship to be hitting me at. Those were not my torpedoes. Uh, that one just blew up. It's just gone. And you still have some torpedoes. <laughs> 300 yards away. These, these are barely going to have time to, to arm. <laughs> Let's get going west. We have one that's just trying to run the blockade. Let's uh, probably narrow our profile a little bit more. Oof. Okay. My god, there's so many things taking hits here. Oh, she avoided the torpedoes. Okay, well, that's good for her. Um, look, let's start heading home. It, it really, just everyone turn tail and run. <laughs> Don't. I guess we can leave the carriers around here for a little bit. Not a great idea. I'm gonna kind. I'm gonna be very conservative about that. I think I'm down to twenty or so. Yeah, so we need to just start pulling people out of here. You have no flooding. Yeah, but you literally have no speed. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, we can't do anything about that. Graf on Eisen, what's your flooding at? 560, oh god. Just slow her down to zero. Pull her off to the side. Get Arena to do the work. Ah, uh, she's that's a dead ship anyway. Okay, so I think we've actually destroyed everything then. 
Uh, this poor ship. Oh god. Oh well, I think that is the carrier. <laughs> so long. Yeah, there's actually I think there's actually nothing left for us to target except for this one unidentified ship. I'm pretty sure this one's dead as well. So yeah, go home. Time to go home. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, Ryan, you are pretty good shape actually. The one that I want to save here is the Graf von Eisen. Preserve her at all costs. Which, yeah, I, I w we probably will. Uh, you've actually, somehow, you've run the gauntlet without taking a single hit. What a lucky man. You have not. You're still getting hit? Oh, yeah, it's, the ship's hitting. They're hitting hard. Okay, good. So, Eloy is launching torpedoes at, at, at nothing. At what? Uh, that's, that's very strange. Not sure I'd agree with that decision. Oh my god. They're trying to trying to sink me. I don't think that was my own torpedoes. How did that oh yeah yeah, from north, maybe? The Graf von Eisen is not looking good. She's in bad shape. Arena's living a charmed existence as well. Hasn't yet has yet to take a hit. Uh, let's pull north to try to take out the remainder of these ships. I think they're all taken out, so... Alright, I'm just gonna start clicking people back home. And you know what, that includes the carriers. Why, why risk it? We've done our job here, time to go home. And what we could do actually is assign uh, an escort. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you are going to be doing that. And somehow doubt, or I don't understand how this, these ships are still functioning. It's possible I didn't do as enough damage to some of them, but kind of a wow look at, look at this ship zipping around well now you got two 16 inch guns to the face that's what you get you did that not me you all you had to do was just lay low and now you, you just couldn't do it could you all right i like that these guys are on ai control that sounds good to me <sighs> you're gonna rugged damage wow so she actually did i mean she took two more six inch shells and a torpedo nope no torpedo Oh, this is the audacious. Well, that is, wow, that's a beefy carrier. Holy, good gracious. Wow. Wow, that is cutting edge. 33 knots, 32,000 tons, six inch belt, huge armor. Magazine box too. 29 heavy, 24 medium, 41 light. This thing is a beast. But you know what, even with six inches of armor, it's was not going to be enough to protect it from a surface engagement, which is what it ended up in here. 367, I, I like kind of wrote off the graph on Eisen, but I guess there's still a chance. Arena, come back. And you are okay, so let's get you to 12 and just send you to port. Fire and forget. What? Is it by a torpedo? Oh my god. Oh, it's a mess. Oh god. Those guys are dead. <laughs> okay, they're dead. Please stop over don't no need to overkill. I mean it wouldn't be a Tortuga video if there weren't a few ships with overkill, but Prevented as much as that audacious is like seriously an incredible design. Uh, let's chase this ship over here. Jurgen, you're gonna chase this one. Oxhoff, you're gonna chase that one. That one in front of you. Yeah. You guys 
They're idiots. Launching torpedoes so close to actually getting us hit. There, we finally got that one stopped. Okay. How's the flooding? I don't... I don't even know how, but we may survive that. I'm going to bring the, the, back the era. She's going to be in charge of... You know what? We'll bring them both back. We're, going to be, we're just going to provide cap. Okay, go to support. You go to support. Von Eisen. She has enough screens. Go to support. And you can now go cruise, so that's good. And we're just, you know, we did those torpedoes weigh a lot. You just, you don't want to carry them all the way home, so that's what we're doing right now. Amazing. We're down to 31 flooding. Let's get these guys to actually support the Von Eisen as well. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> I was going to put them on AI control, but you know what? First, yeah, go hunt down this one, whatever it is. Okay, I don't know what, what is going on. Are we, come on. This is unnecessary. No, I... <laughs> I think that was... It must have been their own torpedo. There's no way that they have the ability to launch. <laughs> it's a dead ship. Okay. Let's get you underway. 31. We'll wait a little bit longer. Okay, we caught up to this group. Yeah, it's gonna be painful. Oh, this Phoenix. Well, revenge is ours. She's not even dead yet. Oh my god. Oh, the humanity. Oh my gosh. Oh, she wasn't dead before. Good lord. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys... Nope. You're assigned the Graf von Eisen. Good. It's stuck. Okay, so all eyes on the Graf von Eisen now. That was a little bit overkill, but as we said, pretty typical. Guess I can try to now. I think the oh, we got to get her moving though. What is it? Month February. Okay, so nighttime should exist for eternity. Well, that's good news. I don't think we have to worry about those ships. The only reason you can see them is that they're on fire. Okay, she's got a nice little escort group here. So the only ones coming back at this point are carriers, but I'm probably going to send them back home again. That's not a lot of indecision, it's just laziness. I don't actually want to have to control them. McGraw Nison does have a nice little compliment here. She has to stop this flooding, otherwise she's just dead. And I think she's dead. 49 minutes into the video, this... God, we just need a miracle. It's too far away, we're not going to make it. I think she's a goner. Alright, stop. We'll start offloading crew. Abandon ship. Give the orders. They can't plug the leak. It's just a matter of time. It's down to 15. Some crew bravely sacrificed their lives to stop one of the two leaks, but it's still only a matter of time unless... Unless... Down to seven, another crew. German engineering at its finest here. Come on. 
Down to three. What the flip? Submarine over there, I guess. So close. I think three is actually fine. We're going to go ahead and move at speed five. Just need to get away from the ships so that as soon as possible we can end this. <laughs> Head for home. Um, yeah, you know what? We need a destroyer to go up here and take care of this. Yeah, Ryan, you're going to have to slow down a bit, unfortunately. Hopefully we destroy the submarine that did this. Hunt for her. Where is she? Probably diving. They have to be pretty close, but yeah, Ryan's gonna be okay. Okay, well, um, how are you doing? Still flooding a three. It's just essentially need to get as far away as possible, as quickly as possible, so we can end the battle. Oh God, that's a lot of t that's a long time, but we're slowly doing it. Go home. No. No. Just go home. <laughs> flooding of zero. We're flooding of zero. We're flooding of zero. Yes. Yes! <laughs> got her. <laughs> Finally got her. Uh, I guess this is some reconnaissance stuff going on. Oh my gosh, way up there? Well, we're not interested. Okay, please. Come on, we just want to know. The people want to know, is it going to live or not? Graf and I is going to live. Oh my god, please. Peace. I beg of you. I don't have time to look and see if she's even like reopened or flooding, so I'm just hoping six is too low of a speed to, to cause that. Yes. Come on. Come on, it's over. Ah, oh, man. Just. And come on, game, please. Don't be so silly. Oh, thank God. We did it. Ah, oh, we did it. What a victory. Pulled that one out. Jeez. A battleship and a battle cruiser. More importantly, the three carriers. For the price of absolutely free. A miracle. That's is this the first engagement we've had where we I mean, the big engagements, where we actually didn't lose a single ship. And aircraft losses, I guess, someone already pointed out, a lot of this is just because of the losses they had for our, you know, lost on ground ship. So, yeah, 65 of their 79 was lost on ship. They had a lot of the operational losses for their bombers. Um, we 
had a lot of operational arches with our torpedo bombers and then these flying boats just being stupid basically that's fine okay so let's take a look at the details real fast Argus is a yeah this is not as fast this is a 30 knot 22,000 ton not really sure how they say the audacious is only worth this is 93 aircraft it's 58 does not make any sense. This audacious, in my opinion, should be worth double the points that I'm seeing it worth, or the Argus should be worth half. Something. There's some kind of... Oh, wow. This thing took 10 heavy hits. <laughs> Gosh, it's probably rolling over at that point. Um, the audacious took 27 heavy hits. Six heavy hits. Oh, my gosh. Wow. What a, what a fight, though. Graf and Eisen actually survived. She survived with 976 flotation points remaining. But it only takes one. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And we will be wrapping this up soon. In fact, I think that the next episode will be role-playing Torturpit Tor Senior's retirement. Um... So, yeah, well, mainly the rest of the series is just going to be tying up some role-playing ends, which is going to be fun. I have a, like I said, I already have a, a fun little conclusion for this after this war. But um, until then, thanks for watching. Catch you for the next one. Take care.